Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. For users who enjoy creating worksheets in Excel and performing calculations using the tools in Microsoft Excel, it may be helpful to note that you can insert an Excel worksheet into your Word document if you have both Microsoft Word and Microsoft Excel installed on your computer as part of the same Microsoft Office installation. You can then edit the information using the Excel worksheet interface, but display the data within the document as if it were a Word table. To insert an Excel worksheet into a Word document, place the insertion mark cursor into the location where you want to show the worksheet data within the document. Then click the Table button that appears in the Tables button group on the Insert tab of the ribbon. Then click the Excel Spreadsheet command in the Buttons drop-down menu to insert an Excel worksheet object into the location in the document. At that point, you are then working within the Excel interface and editing the contents of the cells in the worksheet area that appears. You can then enter the necessary information to display into the Excel worksheet area. You must also apply all formatting to the cells in Excel as you cannot change the object in Word. Note that the embedded Excel worksheet object has a dashed border around it. You can only display information in the Word document that appears within this area. To resize the display area to increase the data shown or to remove extra cells from appearing, place your mouse pointer over the small black resizing squares that appear around the perimeter of the embedded worksheet object until your mouse pointer turns into a double pointed arrow. Then click and drag at that point to increase or decrease the size of the worksheet area to show within the document. After entering the worksheet data and resizing its display as desired, then click into the document area to finish editing it and change the display of the Excel worksheet into a Word table. If you need to edit its contents again in the future, or to change its display size again, you must return to Editing Mode by double-clicking the embedded Excel worksheet object in the document to switch back to Excel. Then make the necessary changes. Then click back into the document after editing it to change it back into an embedded table in Word. To delete an embedded Excel worksheet object in your document, simply click it to select it. Then press the Delete or Del key on your keyboard to delete the Excel worksheet. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.